Play for the front. Give everything you have for the front name, St. John's. And then you will play in the NCAA tournament. You will go far in the tournament. You will have a chance of winning the Big East. Play for St. John's. That's it. Do everything from diving on the floor to blocking shots to setting screens to playing together. Play for the name on the front. The return of Rick Pitino to the Big East, one of the big storylines heading into the college basketball season. Pitino has taken five different programs to the NCAA tournament. Could St. John's be next? The 71-year-old is the only coach to ever win national titles with multiple programs. And welcome to Jamaica Queens, where the buzz is back in St. John's. And that basketball program, rich in its history, once again has a Hall of Fame coach at the helm. Rick Pitino returning to the Big East for the third time in his career with a completely revamped Red Storm roster as we are all access here on Sports Center with St. John's and my man Seth Greenberg joining us as well as the Hall of Famer Rick Pitino. And when we look at this team behind us as they're practicing, for anybody that's watching that's followed anything about college football, they talk about Colorado and Deion Sanders transforming the entire roster. You've got 10 transfers, two freshmen, completely different and you get to shape it. What have you been preaching to this team over the last couple months before the season? Well, you didn't make me. You're not going <laughs> to <laughs> Now, it was tough, but the difference between Dion, Dion had a lot of players that were ready to play at that level. I had really good players at St. John's. Mike Anderson did a tremendous job recruiting. I just wanted a whole different culture. Mm. Uh, but the, the guys that were here, they could play. Rick, you've coached the most iconic programs in the history of basketball, NBA college, the Knicks, the Celtics, Louisville, Kentucky, Providence, the Final Four. But for a guy from New York to be back here, Cornerseca Court, what does it mean to you to be back here in New York coaching this team? Seth, I used to, at age 9 or 10, take a bus to Jamaica, Queens from Cambria Heights to get... $4.50 irregular Chuck Taylors. The line was <laughs> off. Now I'm here with these $200 Nikes. I've made it big back in Jamaica. <laughs> How do you define success here for this team in your first year? You know, I think more, we all define it as coaches. You have to make the tournament. Yeah. Uh, at, at Iona, it was a spectacular three years, but it was the most pressure I've ever had as a coach. Really? More than Kentucky, more than the Knicks. Because you go through a season, you win 25 games, you enter the tournament. If you don't win that tournament, you're not one of nine bids, one of seven, one of six. So that pressure was amazing. I enjoyed it thoroughly, though. Okay, when you talk about Iona, those three years, if you look at UConn and they're running the tournament in March, the only time they trailed at the half was against your team at Iona. What did you learn from that experience that you can bring here? Depth. They came in with their second unit, and it was better than their first unit. So depth is really important for the Big East. You've got five teams ranked in the top 25. You've got Connecticut, returning national champions, ranked third in the league, mm -hmm. which is unheard of. And tremendous coaches, tremendous coaches. I think at one time when I was in the Big East at Louisville, we got nine teams in the NCAA tournament. Yep. The first time you were in the Big East, you were at Providence. Very similar re rebuild. You took that team to a Final Four. I heard about the East River and all that jazz, but on a serious note, how similar is this rebuild to that first one and that first run with Providence? Well, I didn't lose. I kept a lot of players. I was hoping Billy Donovan would transfer because he was 35 pounds overweight. But after losing 35, he became Billy the Kid, and quite frankly, he carried us on his back to a Final Four. But I had five or six returning players who were good. This team is 14 new guys. They're finally talking. ESPN did wonders for us. We're talking. And when you take a look at this team, you, you got a, a freshman that's pretty special. Kid that was committed to North Carolina, Simeon Wilcher. He's coming into this, something like this. I, I'd like to know for you as a coach at different stops with NIL and things changing so much with the transfer portal, ton of transfers here. What's the challenge for you as a coach in this modern day, considering what you've seen over the last three decades? Well, everybody's anxious to transfer rather than be patient, get better, improve. Simeon Wilshire is a great find for us. We are very, very lucky. Then we got the leading scorer in the Ivy League, one of the great players at Harvard, mm -hmm. and I got lucky with both guys again. They wanted a better education, so they came to St. John's. 
I was, I'm trying to figure out if you can talk to those guys. I mean, I mean UMass, Harvard. I look know, up big words every morning. <laughs> Bring the dictionary in every conversation. Style of play. Your style of play has always been innovative, kind of ahead of the curve, three-point shot, pressure, depth. But you're coming to a place that went to a Final Four under Luke Carnesecca, yep. right, who was physical in the half court, kind of a little bit more conserved. What does it mean to you to have Coach Carnesecca sitting up there, to be on Carnesecca court? Again, as a guy from New York who obviously coached against Carnesecca, but also we all revered what he was able to accomplish. We all love Lou. Every coach in the Big East loved Lou. But I've been blessed. I coached against Lou. I coached Frank McGuire, one of his last games. Coached against Dean Smith. Coached against the great Jim Calhoun. Uh, Roley, Big John. I almost had a fight with him at half court. So I've been very blessed to coach against some of the great ones. But to have Louie here at 98 years of age, sharp as attack, is a wonderful experience. With or without the sweater, are you going to go one sweater game? So we all reveal Louie. Yes. But <laughs> there are limitations to what I can do in my life. And that's one of them. By the way, bring up, we bring up Louie and Lou Karnaseka coming up on SportsCenter. How about a sit down one-on-one -on -one with Seth Greenberg with the legendary Lou Karnaseka. That's coming up. Rick, thank you so much. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you having you know, me. Shea, during commercial break, he's still coaching and yelling with the mic in his hand here, <laughs> trying to tell these kids what to do, getting ready for the upcoming season. Back to you. you got to take your earpiece out. He's loud. He's a New Yorker.